Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the extension emulation edition controller from Rec Room Masters, which you can see right here, and the XRK tank stick from X Gaming, which is this one right here. So the build quality is excellent on both of these. The texture finish of the XRK is very nice, and the plexiglass on the extension controller is also very nice. And if you're gonna get custom artwork like this one has, it keeps it nice and protected so it doesn't fade out over time. Um, if you were gonna get custom artwork on the X-Arcade, you definitely wanna have it laminated so that it doesn't get faded while your hands are resting on it. What I will say about the tank stick is that to me, it feels like it was meant to be on the tabletop. The base looks a lot more finished and clean, uh, whereas the Rec Room Masters extension uh, it's a little bit unfinished looking and it does not include rubber feet like the tank stick on the bottom of the base. As for button layout, you can see that they both have eight buttons per player. Um, however, on the tank stick, I really only counted as six buttons because the bottom two of each player are used for admin buttons like to go in and out of games and things like that. And uh, on the extension controller, you have dedicated admin buttons on the top which is also a nice feature to have them away from the usual playing buttons. That way you don't press one of the buttons by mistake while you're playing. Now the XRK tank stick has two cables that come out of the back. One is for the trackball and one is for the regular buttons. The extension only has one cable, so it's definitely cleaner. If this is gonna be sitting out, uh, you're gonna have a lot less cables running out of the back of this controller than you will from the tank stick. They both include a trackball and the quality of trackball on both is very nice. The only difference is that the extension has a bit of a lip around it. So if you rub your finger on it, you can see you bump into it. Uh, whereas the X Arcade uh, trackball does not have that. It's nice and flush with the body of the actual controller. So I think that's a little bit nicer, but it's not a huge deal. Another nice feature of the extension controller is the top admin buttons light up. They're LED buttons, so you could turn them on and off using this switch right here. Now, one thing I like a little bit better on the tank stick is it has these side buttons on the left and the right for your flippers for pinball games. The extension does not have that. Just the way the base is, is it goes in too far and you can't put buttons there. Um, so what I do for that is I just program the left and right flipper usually to some of these buttons on the bottom here. Now, as far as functionality, the extension controller is uh, the best choice in my opinion because you can have it flash uh, profiles to the board that's inside here on the fly. And what I mean by that is you can launch a game on the computer and it automatically will reconfigure itself if you have a profile configured for that game. It would re automatically reconfigure itself to certain keys right to match the inputs of that game you cannot do that with the tank stick uh, what you can do with the tank stick is you can have different programming modes in the back here you have a switch that allows you to have three different programming modes and uh, each programming mode could have again a, a set of inputs for certain games or certain systems but you have to manually switch to that when you launch that system Whereas over here is automatic. And also you can only have, like I said, three modes that are programmable on the tank stick. The extension has unlimited amounts of profiles or modes that you can have programmed to this. So that is a big plus to getting the extension uh, controller over the tank stick. All right, guys, I think that about covers the main features and differences between both of these controllers. At the end of the day, you can't go wrong with either one. They are both excellent. They both have excellent build qualities. So just to recap, the extension is a little bit nicer when it comes to the button layout because you have the dedicated admin buttons at the top to enter and exit games and things like that. Um, and it keeps them away from the playing buttons so that you don't accidentally press those buttons while you're playing. It also is a bit bigger. So if uh, size is an issue for you and you need something smaller, you might want to stick to the tank stick. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Again, you can't go wrong with either one of these. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll see you guys in the next one.